recording. Okay. So, we just got our um, second installation for the COVID shot, and uh, it's a little bit more intense this time. And show my vomit bag, it's right here. So I barfed a little bit, but we're going to do it. I just, I just wanted you to see how bad it is for us because we are not in our apartment. We're not in a hotel room. This is what our government is allowing to have happen to us. We're right here. We can see the Senate building from here. So right here. Right here. We did our part above and beyond. We made it happen today, which was the first day uh, that's acceptable to the CDC to get the second installation of the vaccine. Yep, that's right. So our arms hurt really bad, and we're just, you know, it's just more intense than the first one. I think the dose is a little larger. But we're going to be okay. I didn't feel anything all day. And then it just, at night, it just hit us really hard. Yeah, it did. You say something, son, to show what we're going through. Right. you got to put yourself on the screen. Oh, I'm okay. I'm overtired. I'm exhausted. And even though this vaccine's a good thing, we don't feel well. It'll change. Yeah. We're just going to have a very rough night in the meantime. Yeah. But everybody else gets to be in their homes or some place. <laughs> and our government just leaving us here. To, you know, just kind of parked on the side of the road and we're hoping that no one's going to hurt us. And this is very cruel treatment. <laughs> because we didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> They need to show courage like we did and stand up. You know, guys, I didn't ask for this. I asked for help. And they're... My family, they rescued and they're kissing their asses. And with us, they're not. And I'm like, why? You know, so don't anybody just get shocked if we drop this lawsuit because it's well-deserved. We didn't do anything wrong. We did everything right. And we're going to win one way or another. I've been seeing a lot of hit drops with sixes and sevens and now nines. Apparently sixes are Qs, sevens are the good guys, and nines are us. And I'm like, no, 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 we're not dividing here. We're just really putting a lot of pressure on the good guys to help us. So, six, nine, seven means the good guys are winning, of which we support and we're on. We're not going to let them split us. But nonetheless, we will win. So I ask everybody once again to jump on our vote because our vote is the bigger vote because we are the ones with evidence. Nobody can use our evidence unless we say it's okay. So these people need to start helping us because without us, no one's going to beat Q except us. I would rather bring the good guys along because we want them. So other good guys help us put pressure on Vice President Harris and President Biden. Don't let them pass us over to somebody else. We are not going through this whole process all over again. They need to help us now. They need to help us the way things are. Look, they were able to help my family. And my family had nothing to do with this, which is very fucking tacky. I think they figured that, oh, let's rescue all these other people so Q can't, you know knock them all if they rescued us but here we are we made it so easy for them you know how many times they stood us up look they used the congress and us we were supposed to be rescued at the border remember that they purposely made it look that way tell them yeah tell them why uh, let's see what i remember is that what's her name the v 
DP was on a plane at that time. She needed to make it look convincing, and we needed to be convinced, too, that we were being rescued that night. So the church queue. So it sounds like Congress talked about something. They did not make it public. Wait, am I on camera? It sounds like Congress talked about it and decided to not do the rescue, specifically because of this problem. Yeah, they figured that, oh, well, the Capitol is being held under siege, and if Paris recovered us, they would have gotten all of us in the Capitol building or wherever at the same place, and then we all would have been destroyed, killed, you know? But we destroyed that because we made it public. You know, they wanted us to see this, but I don't play games like this. This is a terrible thing to do to people. You know, thank you for having our best interest in mind. But you guys, Biden, Harris, Biden's a little bit better. You guys are dividing us away from you. I mean, why would you do that? You know how cruel that was? I hope that some people besides us who had my screaming of hurt and deep betrayal on video, we have it and we're thinking about releasing it. But if you have it, please release it because it's really heart-wrenching what they did to us. And they're doing it again. They, they're taking us for granted and they're using us as leverage and I'm really fucking tired of it. So, I can play that game too. <laughs> These people are dividing us, not us. Really, it's awful. And my family backstabbed me. You know they kept Q a secret from me? And I don't know why. <laughs> Let's talk about the Jim Crow thing. You do realize that that was overturned, right? Nobody, nobody can be held as a slave in this country at all for any reason. And Q thinks that I'm their property. And they've held me and enslaved me since I was a little girl. These people have no right or claim to me. They know it. We need to bring it to court and somebody needs to help us because we are stranded now. And we're not going to buy that Voyager bullshit or the Lost in Space bullshit. Apparently our government has done this to many people before. And so has Q. You know what? They've never reckoned with somebody like me and my son before. I know all of you love us. You need to help us and put extreme amounts of pressure. We just need to be rescued. We are right here. We are right here. We did everything that they said to do. We came in under budget and under, like, the deadline, even. We were prompt. We were efficient. And we made it happen. If we can do it, so can they. They have at their fingertips money, access, contacts. <laughs> we're putting them to shame, and they look like friggin' fools. I have a feeling they're going to help us immensely now. Because it doesn't look too good for them, does it? Because we're posting all this shit publicly. Who is that? I don't know. We don't deserve this. Is this how you treat your key witnesses? Well, you know what? You better treat your key witnesses better because they might turn on you. Without us, you don't have shit. And the rest of the world who is rooting for us and wants to rid the whole world of Q, you better help us put pressure on these people to rescue us. I need to be with my family. We found out that there was a traitor amongst the group who was making all my brothers look really, really bad. I need to be with them. We need to be with them. And a special bee fly. I need to be with them. They need me and I need them. Guys, help us. I'm not one to be crying like this, but it's really bad. <laughs> so we're going to post videos every hour, every minute if necessary, and just do these live feed type things so you can see how we're suffering. <laughs> this is so cruel. We need to get angry at the people who aren't helping us, and we need to stay angry and focus on the fact that we have the same enemy, and shame on our government for this. They are using me. They want me to solve all these riddles. They want me to, like, speak out publicly against all this stuff to help fight Q, but I've done enough. I don't want to do anymore. I want help now. I don't want to do this anymore.
I didn't sign up for this. I didn't know the world was going to be poisoned and killed off. I sent in my dissertation. Actually, my husband did. And it's like, I was just, stop stealing my intellectual property. Why are you doing this? And then the realization of the fact that I have been enslaved my whole life. Q has been taking all my property and giving it to people and selling it. It just so happens that I'm part of the royal lineage. <laughs> that puts the cherry on the cake of the day, doesn't it? I shouldn't be suffering this at all. Neither should my son. So please help. Please put pressure on everybody. Especially Vice President Harris. Because she was supposed to handle this. And she really messed it up. I understand she was trying to kind of save us in a sense. But that's no excuse. Breaking our hearts. Trying to convince us of a rescue. So I'm not playing that game anymore. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I ain't gonna be fooled anymore. That's why I'm making this public. Shame on her. I really think she's a beautiful lady and she broke my heart. You know, she stole some of my intellectual property too. That whole bus story. Well, that was my story. I'm not saying it didn't happen to her too. A lot of people were bus, but guess what? She used my exact words as a story, how I told it to my son. How did she get my property? I recorded it. I was making a video. It's copyright. It's intellectual property. Because I recorded it. Just because I didn't upload it doesn't mean that I don't own that. Why did she do that? She hasn't done it since. Because I made it very public. And I'm like, oh my god, why are you doing that? And I do think she's part of the good guy team. I really do. It's just that I think she's getting a little too caught up in the game. And she's not paying attention to the human suffering element. This damn setup. The U-Haul. The tow. All of this is an insurance. All of it is almost $200 a day. That's $1,400 a week. It ain't $40 a day to have a U-Haul. We need help. Because all of our money is drained. They let us here. You know how you guys do the little breadcrumb hint drops? You know, because you're all too afraid of Q. To just put it blatantly. Oh, they'll do it for my family. They had it easy. They don't deserve it. As much as I love them, those that we love don't necessarily love us. It's very tragic. It's horrible. I am a very noble person, and I'm not trying to be noble right now. I just don't want to be here doing this anymore. Somebody needs to step up. We have done everything. We trusted Donald Trump. We thought he's a strong guy, right? He's the one who says all this stuff. We watched some Apprentice episodes, and he's like, you didn't come in on time, meeting your deadline. You went over budget. You're fired. Remember all that shit? Yeah. Well, we thought he was a noble man. We thought he would be really impressed with us because we do that for reals. We do it for our our dance performances. I always pay my dancers and everybody else before I get anything. And some years I hardly get anything. Some years we go into debt. But I don't care because everybody else should get it. If that's not noble, if I haven't proven myself to be a good person yet, then to hell with these people. They don't deserve me and they don't deserve to use my testimony, do they? <laughs> you guys need to help us. Help us put pressure. Please call, write in, put it on paper. If you call in, record your end of the conversation. It's completely legal in every state because you're not recording somebody else talking. You're just like recording your words as if you were speaking into a dictation machine. Completely legal. And we do that all the time so people can't say, oh, you said this, you didn't say that. It's smart. I figured that out. No attorney told us I figured that out. Most attorneys don't even think of that. How do I know? Because they said, is this still recording? Yes, this is still recording. They, they were like, wow, that's pretty brilliant. Yeah. I know. I'm not going to sell myself short to make other people feel good about themselves because I'm sitting out here down the street from the Senate building and all these people have homes to go to. They have warm beds. They have families that they can talk to if things get tough. I've been basically ostracized from my family, even though I can't stand what they do to me. I mean, I still need to talk to them. 
my brother owes us five thousand dollars which would help us pay for the u-haul you know we're debating whether to put our stuff in storage to lighten the load and get rid of the u-haul you know we have a fundraiser going guys just donate so we can get out of this mess help us i'm a very responsible person q and our senate and our government wasted our money here we are rotting they were shocked i'm pretty sure that we were able to get the a second inoculation for covid today we don't fuck around you tell us to do something we did it and we do it and we do it well now they need to keep their word they need to help us or they need to put all of my family all my loved ones back from where they got them from my loved ones if you hear this put pressure on these damn people make them do their jobs i'm a human being why am i being treated this way why is my son being treated this way he wants to start a family he wants to have babies he wants to make love to a girl that's not a cute third party you know how hard this is and it breaks my heart a mom i'm a mom there's nothing i want more for my son to have the happiness you have to help me you have to help him please my husband's brain has been wormed is that the term you guys use right he's using him against us just like remember in the mocking jay with katniss and pita you know it's so funny i was going pita 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 this is before the novel was written i got that from betty davis i think it was now a voyager or one of her films and she said that and i said yes i have this katniss about me and all of a sudden these characters are made up and all these characters it's like oh my god katniss is very much like me you know that tough but also with a human fleshly heart that loves deeply and feels hurt and pain i should be treated like this i will reward all helpers i promise you my word is golden and good you know that and anybody who doesn't help i'm sorry but we're gonna have to a lawsuit against you and that breaks my heart because i thought we were on the same team you don't get to dictate my suffering and my rescue like this stop using us because you know what you are fucking with the wrong girl and you are betraying the wrong girl and guess what without my testimony and consent which i have not given yet you can't defeat q and if i have to do it myself q is afraid of me Q is afraid of my son. So good guys, pull your shit together and get on our team and rescue us. We know what we need. We outlined it long ago in formal communication and on our Twitter. Nobody is going to let you get away with this bullshit anymore. So don't use us as leverage like this anymore. Uh, you don't have my permission. So that means you have to stop. And again, let me mention the Jim Crow thing. Nobody, nobody in this country can be held as a slave. Nobody. That includes me. And I get it. You guys have some weird Q bullshit thing, like alternate realities, two things happening at the same time. You have our government, all these buildings. You have all these laws on the books, right? And then you have Q working behind the scenes and our government doing it too. Shame on you. Bring this out into the open. Rescue us. I have been saying this for two and a half years. We're going on three years. I know what the answer is. And I understand you guys need to do all this stuff and set things up as the safety net. But this has gone too far. We cannot survive like this. I'm not joking. We have nothing. We shouldn't have lost all of this. I had a good life. It wasn't great. And this is like opening a can of worms. It's not easy for anybody on any side. I get that. Can you pull this blanket up over my hands, please? Which one? This blanket. No, not that. It's a this, blanket. Yes. 
honey, don't take it off of me. I'm tr trying to. I don't. Okay, thank like you. That. I'm just really chilled. You can't use me like this anymore. My job is done. I did it well. Now keep your word and do your job. You can see, I loved on Miss Harris a lot. I think she's beautiful. I think she's got some great qualities, but how we've been treated, that was pretty snaky. I get it. She probably saved our lives by doing that and convincing Q and convincing us that there was going to be a rescue and then betraying us like that. But it can't be done again. That is awful. And guess what? Now that we're making it public, she's not going to be able to. She needs to do her job. There gives me... Nothing gives me greater delight than being able to hug her and thank her profusely. And I'll reward her too. She's a human being. If she does well, if she does this good, I'll give her stuff. Money, privilege, access, whatever she really wants because this means a lot to me. Anybody that helps, no matter how small it is, I'm not going to betray you and fuck you over. You are going to be well rewarded. Please help us. I don't want to do this anymore. And a little bit of encouragement, what we did today was a miracle. We were able to get the second inoculation. You should hear some of the things that were told. Cues redirect our calls and they put them into like their call center or they have their people there at these places and they say the wrong things to us. They lie. They cheat us out. And I will stand corrected if I'm reading any of this wrong. You guys know I do that. But I'm very passionate. I love deeply, and I get very angry when I get hurt, and rightfully so. So please, help us. How are you feeling? Achy. Me too. What's wrong, baby? Headache. He's been crying on and off all night, and it breaks my heart to see that. And I can't do anything. Sweetie, you need to say something, please. I know you don't feel good, but this is the perfect time. Please say something. Okay. Hi. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I've been doing this for two years now. Something like that. I think we've run out of stamina. We're running out of money. Probably can't keep doing this anymore at this point. You guys are just gonna have to help us. So, anyway, we'll make more of these videos. I'm strong, but this is getting a bit ridiculous. I, just because I'm strong doesn't mean I should have to suffer like this. We've been taken for granted. We're being used, and I don't like it anymore. So we've sent official communication to President Biden, to CC, Vice President Harris. You know, you can't get in touch with her. That bothers me. That's strange, isn't it? Uh, so far, we have... It's, it's really hard to get in touch with either Vice President that, has, that there's been so far. I know. It's just very suspect to us. I don't like that. And we don't want to be pawned off on somebody else either. Because then we have to go through the whole chain of command and all this. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We are going to have them rescue us. There's nothing else standing in the way. If they think something else is standing in the way, it's their fucking imagination. They're running wild with the Q's threats and shit like that. We're done. They keep wanting us to see this, see that. You know, we ain't doing it anymore. <clears throat> they need to start giving us something. It's a two-way street. We have given them so much. I can make this huge list of things that we have given these people. And what have they done for us? 
This was not supposed to be like this. They ruined first contact for me. You guys thought it was going to happen too. We were all fooled. You should be irate. Anyway, I need to try to get some sleep. You need to sleep the rest of this off, you know. A lot of you have these symptoms too, so I'm sorry you're going through this. I understand it's really shitty, isn't it? It will be okay, but this is not okay. Help us. Help us. I love you. Thank you.